Welcome, not to the man cave. For those of you who are observant, you'll notice we're in a brand new setting. We're not in the man cave, we are now in my brand new studio. Now, I'm really sorry that some of the video has been a bit um, slow as of late. Uh, what with COVID-19 and work being absolutely manic, I just haven't managed to get stuff out. But now we have the studio up, I have no excuse. I can leave my stuff set up and I can record here. And I haven't decided what I'm gonna do in the background. If you've got an idea for what I should do in the background, leave it in the comments below. But today, we're gonna to be talking about the Chameleon Mini and how do you update it? Welcome back. So, lots of you have got these devices. You may have Chameleon Minis, you may have a Chameleon Tinies. This is the Chameleon Tiny Professional, which even has a, a, a Bluetooth low energy in it. If you're making a decision as to which of these two devices to purchase, I would probably recommend go for the full fat chameleon if it's your first chameleon. Um, whilst these devices are really nice and they're cute and they're small and they make me lovely colours. If anyone wants to sell me a red and gold one, I'm definitely interested. Um, they, they look really, really great. Um, actually, the full size ones have got a better antenna and they're bigger and they've got some more capabilities. But with that aside, one of the questions I've been getting a lot in my comments is how do I update one of these? Because there are some new features that are in the later firmware. There's things like um, um, uh, different card support and various other things. So without further ado, how do we do that? Now we don't need any of this equipment. This is the equipment we can use for this. What we need is we need a tablet or a laptop or a, uh, um, actually not a laptop, you need a tablet or a phone. And this is one of the big strengths of this device is that you don't need to lug a laptop around. You can actually just grab a, a phone or a tablet and you can communicate directly to this and you don't need wires at all. So let's work out how we do the update. So I'm gonna jump across to this and I'll have this showing on my screen somewhere here. So first of all, what we need to do, now we have the software fired up, we need to open up the uh, Chameleon um, uh, Tiny, which is this little one here. Now you'll notice I've already got one showing. This is not the right one. I need to turn this on. Oh, look, one just another one appeared. There we are, my device is now on, and I've got a Bluetooth Low Energy Chameleon, because the other one on the other side is a Tiny. Now a really, really quick way of checking which one you're connected to, if you're like me and have lots of these devices, and there's even more in the other way, uh, is just do a quick refresh, and if you do a refresh, you will notice as it's doing the refresh, the lights will go across. Really, really quick way of going, which device am I actually connected to? So how do we do the update? Well, it's very, very, very simple. You press the device button at the bottom and the third uh, item from the top is an item saying BLE command version 1.0. And you might say, well, that's not a button, but that is a button. If you press that a few times, you'll suddenly pop into this particular screen and you'll have two things here. You've got firmware browsing and automatic upgrade. Now firmware browsing is if you want to go back to a particular firmware. If you need to downgrade or you want to go to an exact specific firmware, maybe there's a card that you need to work with is better supported in an older firmware, that's how you do that. But anyway, so we're going to press automatic upgrade and it'll say DFU process starting, DFU mode enabling, and then it's going to, now we're on the, by the way, you need network access to do this. We, we are on uh, Wi-Fi here. There's an access point in my new studio just above. It's just downloading things. It's doing some funky lights over here as it downloads things. And that's it. It's now applied the update and then the device will reboot. We press reconnect. And if we go back to function and press refresh, you'll notice the little lights now go across. And that is how you do the upgrade. Now, for those of you with a, uh, a Chameleon Tiny Professional, so the little one of these that has Bluetooth, because the previous one of these doesn't have, or the normal version doesn't have Bluetooth, uh, and I'll show you how to do the upgrade on that, uh, you'll notice that there is an error, and I have raised it, so we'll see how we get those updated, but for the moment, they're quite difficult to upgrade this way. Now there is another way of doing the upgrade. This is the easiest way and this is the way I'd recommend. You can actually grab your laptop, you can download the Antel drivers, the Antel development kits, you can uh, sync the uh, um, 
the uh, GitHub repository, you can compile it up and you can do that. Now, although it might seem daunting, the first time I did an upgrade of all of these devices, that's the way I did it because that's the way I always did it in the past. And you know what? It worked absolutely fine. Not an issue at all. So this is by far the easiest way of doing the upgrade. But the other mechanism, and if there is enough demand, put a, put a comment below if you'd like to me to do that. I'll actually show you how to do the build, but really I'm just going to show you how to follow some instructions. It's really easy. looks a bit daunting, but if you know your Linux bits and you know how to do uh, compiling, you're absolutely great. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this video. Please like and subscribe. And um, as always, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.